Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. And I just want to welcome you, welcome you to this video. I'm sure you're like me. You got Profit Builder and made this beautiful looking landing page. And you're looking and saying, all right, now how do I connect this to my autoresponder? Well, I hope what happened to me doesn't happen to you. So I'm going to show you how to connect Profit Builder, a landing page that you create, to Aweber. That's the autoresponder I use. It's probably very typical, like if you use GetResponse or ConvertKit, doing it the same way. There's only a few simple, easy steps to do. But if you miss one, it just might drive you nuts kind of like it did me. Well, you want to find out how to do this? Save a lot of time? Stick around. All right, let's do this. So what I want to do, like I was saying before, I'm going to show you how to connect an autoresponder. Today, it's Aweber. But this generally will work the same way for all the different autoresponders like Get Response, Convert Kit. So, what I am going to do, we're going to start completely from scratch, okay? This is um, Profit Bill is just a WordPress plugin, and I'm just going to create a page in WordPress that's going to be used as my landing page that will connect to my autoresponder. So, let's go. I'm going to show you how easy. So, first thing, you want to log into the back office of WordPress, go down the pages, create a new page. What you need to do, oh, oh, let's clear this message box. We'll give it a name here. Today, I'm just going to call it demo. This is only for me because I usually just give a page name as a demo if I'm trying something out or doing a video like this. But you really want to choose a good name here. For In this case, we're going to do a landing page today. So make sure you have a good name for it. Then once you decide on that name, I'm going to, you got to come over to the blue publish button over on the right. And now it's all published. Next thing you want to do, click on the red profit builder button. Come to the middle of the page and click on edit page. This will put us in the Profit Builder Editor. I'm coming up to the top. What I'm going to do now, because it's a brand new page, I'm going to load a Profit Builder template. So these are just a few of the templates I installed. Profit Builder comes with a lot more, a lot more of them. Templates for doing landing pages like I'm going to show you today. You can do webinars. You can do sales funnels. And it's all drag and drop. That's the beauty that I like. So try not to get sidetracked too much. Let's just go. So see that the, I'm going to just choose this landing page here as my template to start. It has this beautiful bridge. So I'm just going to click on that. Come down, hit my load button. And once that loads up, we're going to get started. So this is the template I'm going to use. Now, with... Power Builder, you can use two different type of email opt-ins. This one I'm choosing right here. They call it an overlay button. It's basically a micro commitment landing page where the user has to click on the button. Then once he does, he's presented with the actual opt-in page. So here you can see we have two fields, the first name and the email address. Let me just go down the lower right, click on that, or that form. Now, if you deleted out this section right here, this overlay button, you could actually put in the opt-in form, right, which would look a lot like what is shown right here. And what I'm going to show you today will work in either case. You do the exact same steps. So, what you want to do, the first thing I'm going to do is click over my overlay button here, click on the pencil, call up my edit controls over here. So you notice the part we're going to be looking at today is this form code section. I need to put a bunch of code in here so that I can connect to Aweber. 
So I need to go to Aweber to create that code. All right, so I'm just coming all the way to the top. I'm going to click on my Aweber tab. So here you can see I'm logged into my Aweber account. Now, the first thing you have to do is select the list that you want your opt-ins to go to. So if you're like everybody, you probably have multiple lists. So I have this SOAP series for FPG selected. So that's your first step. Select your list. Now what we're going to do, we have to build an opt-in form over us or sign up form, sorry, in Aweber. So I'm going to click on sign up form. And before we go any further, you can see I have a demo in here. This was used on a previous video. Um, it's got to be, oh yeah, right here. Okay, I'm just going to delete it. So kind of just ignore this. So now pretend like you just came into sign up forms. And there's a reason why I did that, by the way. I'm going to show you. So what you want to do is click on the green, create a sign up form. Select the first, first option underneath, sign up form. Now, you don't worry about any of this. We're not going to use any of the visual parts, so we're not going to select the template. We don't have to. When we come down here, you notice we have a name and an email field that they enter. Well, today, I'm going to show you. I just want to collect email addresses. So in Aweber, I'm just going to delete this name field. And I'm going to show you why when we go back to Profit Builder or what you have to do. If you want to collect both name and email, it's fine too. This all still works. So now that I deleted my name, that's all I have to do in step one. So I want to say, you know, click on the green button down here, save your form. Once that's saved, let's go on to step two. There's only one thing over here in step two in the settings section that you have to do. You have to name your form something i usually i always name it the exact name i name my landing page so today you notice i call, name my landing page demo well that's exactly what i'm going to name my sign up form in aweber you don't have to do this for this to work this is only for you to see the human you know, the computer has nothing to do with those fields doesn't even care but i like to keep things one-to-one -one simple landing page sign up form use the same name um, this thank you page, I'm just going to use for this demo today, the one that's built into Aweber. So once I'm done naming, I'm going to hit save the step, the green button. Now I want to move on to step three. So this is where in step three, we're going to get our actual code to save it into Aweber. So you want to come up and say, you pick this first option here. I will install my form and click on that. Let me move this up a little bit. You see, we have two choices here, JavaScript and over here, raw HTML. For Profit Builder, you always want to use the raw HTML code. So the code that's in this gray box is what we're after. So I don't even care what this says. You probably don't even know what it means. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Only thing you need to know is when you click on this box, everything gets selected so that I can copy it. I just simply right clicked. Select copy. If you're on Windows, Control C. Apple, Command C. It's all the same. So we just copied that. So what I want to do next now is move back to Profit Builder. So I'm over in this section where we're looking at the form code again, right? So I am just going to sit right here and just paste all that code in. This is all that code that just came over from Aweber. So I am going to go all the way to the top. Now, there's two more things we have to do. The minute you paste this code in, you want to delete the top two lines. The very first line here where it says Aweber, uh, sorry, Aweber form generate, that's just a comment. That's got to go. The second line is the key. That's your the style type line, right? This is the code that you want to also delete so we don't get the visual part showing up. So with all that being said, I am just, oops, um, sorry, let me go back to the top. So that first line, automate, that comment line, automate got deleted by Profit Builder, which is okay. And the second line here, your style type line, that also has to be deleted. 
So everything now that we have left, whatever that code is, I'm trusting it, it's fine. I don't know about it, don't wanna know about it, right? So now if you are back in Aweber and you're using both the name and email address, your landing page is already connected, done. It's set up to Aweber. But because I'm only collecting the email address today, remember when I was in Aweber, I deleted the name. So I've got to make do one more step for this for this element here. I'm pointing to it like, yeah, you guys can see that, right? Okay, so what you want to do is come down. I'm looking right now. Oh, yeah, right here. You have to find form fields in the heading. You want to open that up. Once you do, skip all this and come all the way down to the bottom of form field. See where it says no name? You want to check or tick, however you want to call it. You want to check that box. You only need to do this if you're just collecting the email. So now if you notice, if I click on my button here, it only shows one field, just the name, where before we had two, right? So that's it. We're connected to Aweber, and I'm going to show you right now in a second how we're going to do that. So here, sorry about that. Sorry about that. So what you want to do, save the form. Okay, so now that's been saved, we're going to preview the page. Now before I do anything, so let me come back over here into Aweber. Let's go into subscribers. So I'm in my list. So you can see there's zero subscribers here, right? And I wanted to show you that before we actually entered an email. So now I'm back over in here. Let me back up. So once I click on the button, here's that basically that micro commitment process, right? I call up my, which is all part of the landing page. I'm calling up my opt-in form. So I'm just going to type in an address like Lamar underscore say test 100. All right. At gmail.com. So Lamar underscore test 100 at gmail.com. It's not going to download a report. I didn't take the time to change buttons and all that. I just want to show you the basic interface. So see this thank you page here? This thank you for subscribing? That was the form that's built into Aweber, right? So that was in our settings section. But here, before I get too far, now what I'm going to do, so I'm in my lists. Here's my subscribers. That email address I entered in from Profit Builder. I am just going to simply refresh this page by clicking on F5. And you notice here is the Lamar Test 100 Gmail. And there is the time today at 1231. So we have just completely started from a brand new landing page, went over into Aweber, created the sign-up form. In this case, I deleted the name field, saved that first step, went to the second step, step just named my sign-up form to match my landing page, saved, went to the third step to get the code. The code that I got was the raw HTML. Remember, you have to make that selection. Copy that so that I could paste it into Power Builder. Here, we'll go back to Power Builder. Into, all the way near the top here, the form code text box. Pasted that in. I deleted the comment line, very first line. The second line I deleted, the style type line. Those two top lines, once they are deleted, I had to come down because I was not saving names today. I had to check the no name field to tell Power Builder I don't want to save names because that's how I designed it over in Aweber. And I went under the form fields section. So that's how you use Power Builder and connect, Profit Builder, sorry, Profit Builder and connected to Aweber, your autoresponder. If you have Get Response, Convert Kit, they probably work in a similar fashion where you're simply cutting, copying and pasting the raw HTML code, not JavaScript. Remember, drop that in and it should work the same way. 
If you haven't got Power Builder yet and want to try it, listen, this works great. It's drag and drop, just like most of the other funnel builders and landing page builders out there. It works just as easy. The nice part about it is it's a one-time fee. Pay once, you own it. It's a WordPress plugin, and I'm telling you, it's very versatile. You can do webinars. You can do landing I mean, sorry, we did landing page. You can do sales funnels. It's great. I heard you can do a whole website. Haven't even tried any of that, so I'm not sure, but it is definitely a powerful tool. If you want to start, I think there's a 14-day trial. I'm not sure, but if you want to check it out, I've got a link below this video, and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video. I love answering comments and I reply back to each and every one of them. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button.